Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman, MMA for SelfDefense.com. Some self-defense technique. If a guy confronts you, number one, you know, I, I, we, we train engaged, we train hands down, natural reactions in case you're sucker punch, and you train a lot when someone confronts you and is mouthing off in the smack top face, grab one foot back, hands up, and non confrontational stance. It's also good legally. People say you look like you were defending yourself, you look scared, you can de-escalate the situation, but sometimes it's time to go. Okay, so if this guy's talking to me, whatever, I'm ready in case he throws first. I'm ready to do whatever or spear in. A lot of my techniques I have on YouTube already. Here's another one. Okay, if this guy starts mouthing off and yelling at me, swearing at me, when he says something like, I'm going to come back with my boys, or he motions to his boys to come over, or he says, I'm going to go to the car and get my gun, you're dead, I'm going to kill you, you might decide it's on. It might be better to be proactive sometimes. Yeah, you might legally be questionable for the assault, but, you know, if I know he's a gang guy and he's got guys sitting around, maybe you want to go first sometimes. It depends, all depends on the situation. So we're here, this guy's mouthing off. Fucking Russian mob, he's threatening to kill my family. Then you decide to go. You take it, okay? To spin him, it's just kind of rotation. I give him palm strike here and counter here, okay? Here. If he's big, if he's starting to resist, he's got his chin down the chin up a little bit. Let's say you get here. But he's strong, you might add the palm strike in here to the butt, the lower back, or the kick to the oblique knee. I've, I've used this against a big guy once when I was coming to some bouncer's help. This huge 300 plus pound guy was lifting all the guys up. You just gotta oblique kick in the back of the knee to bend the posture and break the structure. Or hit here. Then you can use them as body armor, of course, or slip in the neck as well. So I'm prepared and we've run it. You're gonna hit him here and spin him cover rotation way. So we're mopping on the Hey, I don't want any trouble. He says he's gonna go get his gun. Say you're gonna go get your gun. Let's go. I wrap this guy up, pick him up. You get out of there, okay? He says he's gonna get his gun. He's threatening me, he's breaking the law, he's threatening me with violence. Legally, guys, hey, I gotta survive and deal with the law afterwards. I'm not saying destroy everyone who mouths off you or calls you a name. But if I think the guy's a serious guy and not a shit talker, it's a serious guy, you spin him and defend yourself. So one more time from this angle. Spin him here. Here, spin him. Look for the rear naked choke. Anytime I do a rear naked choke, even on the ground, I clamp down here. So I got arm control. I can hit, I can deal with other guys, I can break his posture with my hand. Maybe I put it in right away. But I have this here. See, he needed his posture broken. Now I can control him and put him in the Okay, and deal with him here. Or deal with him here. Or deal with him here. Okay? So, spin this guy to you. Take him out. Here, I just cut the structure and balance him up. Look around, watch your six. Okay? So there's a spin move to get the guys back. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Go to MMA for self-defense.com.